I swear, the only thing I remember about this movie when I watched it during my childhood was the very last shot, the last frame of the movie, so it stuck with me, and I don't know why. Or as I like to call it, taken too seriously. Now the plot for Webs follows four engineers sent to shut down a building's power accidentally opening a portal to another dimension where a spider slash human hybrids are and a badass looking queen spider rules the city. From there ensues spider carnage and a fight for survival. Yeah, that's about it. It's a pretty basic apocalyptic film, actually. The characters are weak, which is something you really don't want in your apocalypse movie. The acting is decent at best, but I actually came out of this movie enjoying it more than I thought I would. Let's me retrend a little bit. Some of the characters are weak in the sense that you don't know enough about them to truly root for them. The acting is passable, but it could have been better. The story, while having horror elements, just felt like a more serious version of Riot's Night of Terror. Now, the effects are actually pretty kick-ass. Whenever a spider-human hybrid is shot, purple goo sprays all over the place, and it's a really nice touch, I thought. The queen spider is a unique design that is a combination of practical and CG effects. Still, this film is watchable for an hour and a half. It's nothing I'd rush out to go buy, however. Overall, I give Webs a 2 out of 5. So does this finish my week of webs? Well, there are no more spider movies that I featured in my intro, but I could probably squeeze one more in. Stay tuned for my next review. Lai and Brian Gatto, host of our show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below. Just leave comments and subscribe.